TV journalists in the Orlando area and across the country are grieving the loss of one of their own. 24-year-old reporter Dylan Lyons was shot and killed yesterday along with a 9-year-old girl. His photographer and the little girl's mother were also shot. Jasmine Payud is here with more on the reporter who is engaged to be married. Good afternoon, Jasmine. Good afternoon, Jim. In a social media post, his fiance says she will never be the same. Lyons was covering news in Orlando for less than six months when he was killed, along with a woman, Natasha Augustine, and a nine year old girl, now identified as Tiana Major. Authorities now left looking for answers as to why they were targeted. We have learned that one of our own, a fellow reporter, uh, has died while, while out covering a shooting. Overcome with grief, a TV reporter in Orlando fights back tears while covering the murder of one of her own. We now know the fellow reporter is Dylan Lyons, who grew up right here in the Philadelphia area. Overnight, his older sister and fiance identified the 24 year old on a GoFundMe page set up to help raise money for his funeral. I want to acknowledge what a horrible day this has been for. Our community. Authorities say early Wednesday morning they found a woman shot to death in a car in Florida's Pine Hills neighborhood. Lyons and photographer Jesse Walden were covering that shooting for Spectrum News 13 when the suspected gunman came back, shooting them later that afternoon. The suspect is not saying uh, much right now. Uh, it is unclear if he knew um, they were news media or not. We're still trying to work all of that out. Investigators believe that same suspect then walked up the street, went into a home, and shot a woman and her nine year old daughter. The nine year old succumbed to her injuries. No one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine year old, and certainly not news professionals, should become the victim of gun violence in our community. The suspected shooter is 19 year old Keith Melvin Moses, who is currently in custody. Authorities hope he can tell them why any of this happened. Many in the community now left shattered. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. We, we go home at night afraid that something like this will occur. Truly heartbreaking. Authorities say the mother of the little girl killed and the photographer are in the hospital in critical condition. People from across the country, including the White House press secretary, sending their thoughts and prayers, Jim. Thank you, Jasmine.